What's up guys, Justin Casey here from Elysium Risk Management and the European Security Academy. Um, so today what we are going to take a quick look at is, well a quick look at, relatively quick look at, is a new tool that I've come across for OSINT or more specifically SOCMINT, Social Media Intelligence, and even more specifically uh, for Instagram. Okay, yes we already have some tools such as InstaLooter, InstaLoader, etc but this one is pretty pretty impressive and to be honest uh, I, th I think it's officially my favorite instagram uh, Sockment osint uh, tool or program so for this one i'm not using my csi linux machine as you can see i'm on my para os um, and the reason is because i just i came across this tool while i was working on my parent machine so just as a test i wanted to get up and running and check it out but i'll definitely be throwing it across onto my csi linux machine that is a fact okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to assume that you've already got it up and running if you haven't uh, what i would suggest is um check out link below i will throw up another video just explaining how to get it up and running in your machine so i'm after opening up a terminal here and uh, let's just ls and this is the name of the tool here it's called osint gram okay so we're just going to open up that directory osint gram we're going to list what's inside and as you can see here okay uh, main.py this is obviously the main the main tool that we're going to be running okay within this directory and as you can see as it says py this means that it's in python so more specifically it's in python 3 and we're going to go main.py and we're going to follow this up with our target username okay the username to the instagram profile of which we want to investigate okay and uh, for this example we are going to use eu seca uh, be sure to follow us on uh, on instagram and facebook and everything else so let me just open this up okay so this is the tool here okay osint gram uh, as you can see here we have a number of options let's just hit enter so we can run a command we have a number of options okay um such as uh, if we want an output file okay we will just we'll turn that off for now because i don't want the output file just for this example so i'm going to say no so i don't want the results uh, to be saved into a file uh, for us so we're just going to disable that next what i'm going to do is list okay this is the list of all the commands that we get that we can utilize or leverage uh, within this tool they are really really good i'm not going to go through them all for the sake of time but feel free to pause the screen right now and you can go through because it says what the command is and then what it does okay it does some of the typical ones like some of the other tools such as um such as downloading the profile pic uh, download the list of followers the list of people that follow them etc but what it does even more okay even better let's just force just pull the info okay so we're just going to write info and we're going to hit enter and let it work its magic and do its thing so as you can see it's pulled our id okay which is great because anyone within the investigative side of uh, osint rather than just someone who's playing around will understand that uh, the user id is great because if someone goes and changes their username okay and uh, their username their profile picture and they think ah no one's gonna find me now well we already have that user id so we can just take that and run that user id so even if the target changes their name they try to uh let's say go dark okay well not properly they just change their name they change their picture etc we can still find them okay yeah uh, we can see obviously our what would you call it um caption something a little biography that's included our bio yes as they call it okay so it's advanced training programs for military law enforcement and security operatives and this is also uh, where we provide our OSINT training course if you're interested and uh, hit us up there'll be a link below and uh, go check that out and um, we can see how many people uh, actually follow the target okay over 20,000 and how many people that the target follows which is 41 we can see it's a business account it's not verified at the moment we better get that done um, and we have an email address um, and as well link to the profile picture and a phone number which isn't actually on the 
is, isn't publicly available if you go to the EUSECA uh, page, the profile, you're not going to see the phone number there, okay, which is really, really interesting. Um, so what else can we do? Like I said, I'm not going to go through all of them, okay, you can do some of the basics, but some of the most impressive for me is it can grab the email addresses and phone numbers of all the people that the target follow as well as all of the followers that follow the target if that makes sense okay um which is really 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 impressive okay because like anyone knows in OSINT, uh, what we can do is we can start taking them email addresses. Maybe we've identified some other uh, persons of interest within their followers list or within who they follow. And we can start taking that email address and start running that through our dark web uh, breaches, through our, our breach databases, uh, through leak data sets, etc. And see, can we pivot on to other information as well with phone numbers? Okay, really, really good. I'm sure most of you know, 536 million uh, Facebook uh, accounts were, let's say, leaked. And that included uh, the phone numbers associated to each account. Okay, so we can then say, take that. Maybe we have, maybe we have a target. Maybe it's a, so, it, it, a cyber bullying. Okay, maybe client something has got on and said look my child something has been cyber bullied online from this instagram account this sock puppet account and this account has no real name it has a fake picture and it's just been harassing uh, cyber bullying maybe a client's uh, child or a client directly or uh, anything god knows what and uh, what we could do is then if we can extract that phone number and then try take that phone number and cross reference that from our Facebook that I said maybe we can identify a Facebook account that's correlated to that or associated to that Instagram uh, account via the phone number that was used to register or to use to verify okay which can be really 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 handy and um, so what else it can it can do a lot okay so let's let's dive in okay let's take a look so what we want to do is we're not going to pull information for 20,000 results because we'll be here for half an hour an hour Okay, so just for the sake of time, let's go. We only have 41 people that the target follows. So follow and get. Now I don't want to get the wrong one, okay? So get email of users followed by the target. That's what we want, okay? F wings, as in followings, email, okay? So the command is F wings email, okay? And we're just going to hit enter. And it's obviously it's going to take a couple of minutes because it's going to start grabbing all them email addresses and then start pulling it forward for us. So it's now finished and as you can see what it's done is it's pulled the user ideas to, is it all 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, okay so what looks like all the public ones okay. So it's pulled the user ID, the username, okay the real full name of the person behind it or the real full name that they use to set it up okay really really interesting and the email addresses okay pretty pretty good stuff i might need to blur these out i'm not sure we will see okay but then again it's OSINT. it's public it's open source anyone can get this and uh, so what else will we do let's get the phone numbers let's see f wings for following Okay, followings, uh, number. So unfortunately it was at this point that my internet modem decided to shut down uh, and the whole thing went bust pretty much, uh, hence why there's not a follow up. Uh, but I think from that video you've kind of got the gist of it uh, and I'd encourage you to dive in, play around. Uh, I'm going to try to upload the video of how to set it up within the next two three days so make sure if, if you're checking this out hit subscribe so that you don't miss out and that you can see how to install this on your machine and get it up and running and get out there and play around and hopefully and uh, catch some catch some bad guys okay catch some bad guys because that's essentially what it's about especially for with a lot of my students working in law enforcement and that side of things and um, but i hope you enjoyed it and like i said be sure to uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and hopefully I'll get some more videos coming out soon.